here in Fort Saskatchewan and asking him some questions about the home building process. My first question to you, Mark, is how long have you been in business and what's your experience with the industry? Uh, I've been in the industry for over 20 years. Uh, I started Urban Luxury Homes in 2011 and we've been building in the Edmonton and surrounding areas ever, ever since. Um, you know, started off with some custom acreage homes and uh, you know, got into a couple subdivisions with a couple developers and started building everything from starter homes to move up homes. Again, right to your custom, custom walkout, nice uh, estate type homes. How do you ensure quality control throughout the home building process? Quality control in a home is uh, very important and to us, it was very important to kind of keep a consistent trade base. So, you know, having a consistent trades and suppliers work with us, uh, we each know what to expect, so communication is key. Um, and, and creating that relationship, it, it goes beyond work. Um, so, you know, I, I want to provide them with a good work environment. They also want to provide me with uh, good quality work. Everyone knows construction delays happen, but what's your process to make sure the client's informed and how do you resolve it? Uh, construction delays are, you know, inevitable in, in the home building industry. They happen quite, quite often, but uh, you never want to sacrifice time for quality. So, you know, again, it goes back to uh, working with your trades and suppliers. And, you know, if you really need a favor from them, uh, we can ask for a favor to get, you know, to get to push that cycle if we need to. Uh, but at the same time, while we're building our schedules, we need to work with our trades and not always, you know, uh, not always be pushing the schedule, you know, on a particular project, given the time, build in the delays that uh, that's needed to, uh, again, provide good work environment for our trades. And by doing so, they'll, they'll, they'll return the favor when I need it. So what that means is, uh, you know, we, again, we end up with the, the quality product, uh, the same quality product at the end of construction, regardless of the timelines. Um, and and, and when, when delays do happen, we, you know, we gotta make sure we keep our customer informed throughout the build. Can you touch a little bit on new home warranty and what can your clients expect from you in terms of customer support after they move into their new home? So providing a, a, a level of service goes beyond uh, the construction and the build of the home. Once a client takes possession of the home, we need to make sure, you know, in new homes, uh, they're not, they're not uh, like a car, you know, they're, they're, they, they do settle, they crack, they shift. So th we do need to come back and uh, make sure our customers are happy with the, the home quality. Um, I personally do go to each home uh, about two months after they move in and we go through anything that they might have an issue with. Uh, and then again, again, I come back at year end and we're gonna go through anything with the homes. Uh, we also have like, our heating and plumbing company who will come a couple couple weeks after possession and they'll go through all the heating and systems and everything that you have in your home and how to how to maintain for it. So David, I'm going to test you outside your realtor skills here. Okay. See how good you can cut in a cut line here with no tape. It's got to be a lot closer than that. Yeah, I, <laughs> do you, you know what man, painting you for me. Uh, yeah, painting's not for me, but uh, yeah, you're much better at that than I am. But <laughs> thank you so much for watching today, guys. I hope you guys learned something today. Mark, thank you so much for showing me your business and a little bit about the new home construction process. Um, if you guys have any other questions for Mark or myself, please leave them down in the comments below.